other men in my wife's life. Good to see you. It's great to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having us over here today. Well, pleased to have you over here. I'm going to say a few words. <laughs> um, I'm only going to speak for a moment because there are many more exciting people to speak. But I wanted to first, I want to thank everybody for being here. This is a very emotional moment. And I just have several thank yous because I'm not going to go into all you dear people who have meant so much to us. First, I, no greater thank you could there be than having the support of our president and his lovely wife who these seven years have, their support has meant everything. And I want to thank you officially and personally, and I know we've talked about it before, and I want you all to know that they have been so very dear to us, as every one of you here has too, and I want to thank you for everything that you've done in your, your own special ways. Another man in particular who's been very special, and although there are three men here who Jim has called boss, and they're all standing right over here together, um, one of them happens to be Jim Lynn, who was the first person who came to me in the days right after Jim was hurt and brought up the concept and idea of the Brady Foundation. And I was living in such a daze and didn't understand what was going on and didn't understand the ramifications of how important it would be in our life. And I'm going to introduce him and what he has done for us also has will mean for the rest of our lives um, a feeling of security and uh, confidence. I want every one of you to know that we love you and thank you for what you've done and for this man here who started it all and with the help of Mrs. Reagan as chairman and their love and care, we thank you. You can see my husband's doing beautifully and it's because of you all that he, that he is. Thank you very much. I'm Jim Lynn. President and Mrs. Reagan, members of the Brady family, Jim, Sarah, and Mrs. Kemp. I think she's in the room. Senator Roth, members of the White House staff, past and present, and other distinguished guests. I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the James F. Brady Presidential Foundation, an organization that has now completed what it set out to do. Today we recognize those who have supported the creation of this fund to assist those struck down in an attempt on the life of a president or other high-ranking officials of the federal government. The efforts of the board members of the foundation and the trustees of the foundation have been central to the success of this undertaking. And in this connection, a special thanks to the two best fundraisers in the United States. You may have heard of them, Ambassador Rogers and Bob Strauss whom we chose, you may remember, Mr. President, as our vice chairman in charge of raising the money. When you have the head of finances for the Democratic Party joining the head of finances for the Republican Party, you got one heck of a combination, I'll tell you. I know the board members and trustees of the Brady Fund have felt personally proof of an old, old saying. Down in their hearts, wise men know this truth. The only way to help yourself is to help others. We also want to thank the White House staff, you, Senator Roth, and the members of Congress who got the necessary legislation passed in what I think is an all-time record for the Congress. Mr. President, if we could all get legislation that we want passed this way. You asked for it on one day. The next day, the legislation was introduced, and within 24 hours, the House and the Senate reported a bill to you, and you signed it with the implementing legislation we needed. That was a heck of an accomplishment. <laughs> the President speaks often of volunteers, and I'd like to recognize some other volunteers. We appreciate greatly the volunteer work done in support of this project over a period of years now by several firms. Jones Day, Revison Poe, Ernst & Winnie, who did all the audits year after year as we were raising the money, the Riggs Bank under Joe Albritton's supervision, 
and also the enthusiastic and devoted efforts day after day and year after year of our chief administrator who couldn't be with us this afternoon, unfortunately, Patty Friars. Thanks should also go to the Community Foundation of Greater Washington, which has undertaken permanent administration of our fund as a separate fund to be known as our foundation was the James S. Brady Presidential Fund. Last but not least, we are all deeply grateful to the Reagan family, to Mrs. Reagan, our honorary chairwoman, and President Reagan. The help of both of you so often and in so many ways was absolutely vital to the success of this undertaking. And now, Mr. President, I understand you'd like to make a few remarks, please. As always, a special hello to my friends Jim and Sarah Brady. Now, I'll be brief today. We all know one another, and part of the reason for gathering here today is to have the chance simply to enjoy one another's friendship. And we can do that better by making conversation than by making speeches. But I do want to say just a word about how proud I am to be associated with all of you and with the Brady Foundation itself. So far, the foundation has raised more than a million dollars, a truly remarkable figure. And by the way, thanks for a good portion of that amount goes to Susan Davis, who raised it by way of her wonderful chili dinners. <laughs> <laughs> and Susan, if I may say so, old A. <laughs> I know you'll agree that raising that amount of money in the few short years <coughs> since the Brady Foundation was established is, as I said, remarkable. But what's even more important is the purpose for which those funds are being set aside, helping those injured while serving their nation. We all pray that no one will ever be hurt again. But just knowing that the Brady Foundation is there, well, it gives those of us who work in this complex, together with so many others throughout Washington, an additional sense of security. It means that help would be available if it were ever needed. I also want to say how pleased I am that the foundation has been merged with an organization as fine as the Community Foundation of Greater Washington, the same organization that oversees the Nancy Reagan Drug Abuse Fund. And yes, I have a message from Nancy. She wants you to know how pleased she is to be serving as the Brady Foundation's honorary chairman. So for all of you, for all that you've done, you have our heartfelt thanks. God bless you, and I think that's the end of the talking. <laughs> scheduled me for further on in the day, so. <laughs> 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 no, <okay. laughs>